Hi, I'm Melissa Ramondelli. And I'm Isabel Sanchez. And welcome to Five, Five Questions. Questions. Our guest today was Regent Luis Reyes from the New York State Board of Regents. We sat down with him and asked him a couple questions. Let's hear what he had to say. Question number one. How has your life inspired your work? Well, uh, as a young boy, I grew up in the South Bronx in the Melrose uh, projects. And my mother brought up two sons who went to Catholic school. Uh, we were both born in Puerto Rico. I was born in 1944 during World War II. And we came here to New York in 1946. So I think of my life as a journey that is blessed by especially my mom who brought uh, me up with my brother, sent us to Catholic school, had very high expectations, and uh, encouraged me when I said I wanted to go away to become a teaching brother, a Catholic teaching brother. And so I spent high school and college years preparing not only to be a brother, but to be a teacher. And 49 years ago, I began teaching in a Catholic high school in New Jersey, teaching Spanish. Uh, eventually, I said, uh, what I want to do, the reason why I, I became an educator was to serve my community, the Puerto Rican Latino community in New York City. Uh, and so I decided to go on and get a doctorate in education from Stanford. And I spent seven years learning about not just my history, but Chicano history, African American, Native American, gay and lesbian my vision of what it is to be an American uh, got opened, my mind got opened. And so I look at education today as a regent and as a researcher at the Center for Puerto Rican Studies, I always look at it in the context of all of those social science areas, uh, the importance of cultural foundations, Question number two, what is a regent and what does a regent do? A regent is a member of a policy board, a board of trustees. Uh, he, here in the state of New York, the uh, board of trustees or board of regents uh, are in charge of all education policy all the way from pre-K through college, postgraduate study a group that meets monthly and makes decisions around education policies. Uh, we're also responsible for hiring the chief executive of the state school system and also certification of professions. And so there are a number of professions that, that people get certification from the state of New York and so the tests and the requirements are decided upon by the State Education Department with the Board of Regents making the policy decision to say what the standards are. Question number three. What is a typical schedule for a regent? Well, uh, being a member of the regents uh, is not a full-time job. It's not a compensated job. Uh, we meet monthly over two days, usually in the middle of the month in Albany. Sometimes we will visit other cities to meet, but usually it's up in Albany because that's not only where the legislature is, but also the State Education Department. Question number four. What is an accomplishment you are most proud of? Well, uh, I'm proud to have been elected by the legislature in March uh, of 2016, this year, to the Board of Regents as an at-large member, which means that I uh, do not represent a geographic area, but my responsibility is to be attentive to the needs of the whole state. And what I'm most proud of is the fact that I got elected uh, being one of 50 people who applied for that position. And to me, uh, being voted uh, to be a, a regent is an honor because uh, it's a decision that influences the lives of 
babies, children, young boys and girls, young men and women, as well as adults uh, in all kinds of ways. And so it's a responsibility that I take very seriously and that I should be considered uh, capable and accomplished enough and committed to the work uh, is uh, an honor that is pretty humbling. Question number five. Why are teachers important? Being a teacher is a high calling. It may not be high paying, but it is very, very rewarding when you know that you are participating in the transformation, sometimes through struggle. There are nuns and priests and lay people who have not just been teachers and religious leaders, but people who have been on the front lines of the struggle f against war, uh, against uh, xenophobia, people who want to say no to immigrants uh, or to poor people or to people of color. And so educators really are servants uh, of the word, but they're servants of the community. We'd like to thank Dr. Reyes for sitting down with us and answering our five questions. For more information, check out Dr. Reyes' Regent page at the New York State Ed website. See you next time on Five, five questions. questions. Bye! Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.